Okay, so let me get this straight. Laura's stepfather was covering up someone else's death. Did Laura witness something that she shouldn't have? Worse. Uh, th there was a nurse, a woman that Rick was involved with. My mother killed her in that attic. It was unintentional. She was just a teenager, but it traumatized her so much that Rick had to sedate her. And whatever it is that he, that he gave her repressed her memory. Until four years ago, when it all started to flood back on her, I could tell that she was suffering from something she couldn't remember, so I thought it would be good if she could clear up the fog and face her past. I was wrong. I had no idea what it would unleash. So she started to crack, and her mind went back to the same place it was when she was a teenager. Rick tried to sedate her because he didn't want her to remember. She got paranoid, thought that he was trying to hurt her, and she fought back. When I got to the attic, he was already dead. So I got Laura out of there, and I tried to help her deal with it. Uh, but I just made things worse. And then her mind shut down completely. And her breakdown was total. And until now, irreversible. Oh, excuse me. Robin Scorpio. Great, thank you. That was security. A witness saw Laura leave the grounds about an hour ago. Okay, I'm gonna try to find her. You stay here in case she comes back. <laughs> I guess that um, Robin Scorpio heard something about some kind of an experimental treatment or something, and then, God bless her, she figured out that it could help me. Luke, I've seen him. It's okay. And I've seen the children. Although you could hardly call them children now, huh? Gee, that's great. But nobody figured it might be a nice idea to tell your old mom about the miracle. How come? Uh, I don't know. I... You know how Luke is. He's always got some reason for the things he does. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. Do you feel all right? I feel, uh, confused, you know. Oh. I guess I, I kind of lost a little bit of my memory. Yeah. I, um, I don't remember the accident. The accident? Mm, the one that put me in the hospital, I, I can't remember it. I mean, Luke says that that's what's responsible for putting me in the state that I was in. Uh, I, I can remember preparing for the wedding. Uh -huh. And then it just kind of goes blank. Yeah. But I guess you know what happened, right? So, what kind of an accident did I have? You know what, sweetie? If Luke didn't fill everything in, it must be because the doctors thought you should take it slowly, which is a very good instinct. <sighs> okay. It's just that I have missed so much. Oh, so much has changed. I'm a grandmother now. Can you imagine that? What I find impossible to believe is that I'm the mother of a grandmother. Oh. <laughs> Elizabeth Weber. Uh huh. Yeah. And Lulu. She just seems so grown up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Luke seems the same. Mm -hmm. He seems a little nervous though. I mean, I guess that's to be understood. One thing hasn't changed. And that's how Luke takes care of you. I just want my life to make sense again, you know? I do. It will. It will. You just... You trust the man you love. Everything's gonna be okay. I love you, Mom. You just have your baby. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Grandma. Um, this is gonna sound a little weird. Have you noticed anything... I don't know, unusual today, here? Unusual? Gee, I can't imagine. Unless you mean something like, oh, I don't know, say your mother. You just missed her. Okay, please don't be mad. Dad didn't want us to tell anyone, and she left Shadybrook on her own, and now we're just frantically looking for her. My daughter comes back from 
purgatory and nobody in the family thinks it might be a nice idea to tell me? This is just so typical of your father thinking that nobody else matters. I know. She's my daughter. Grandma, I know, I know. And I used to imagine what it would be like to have her back again. And now she's back, but it, it's more complicated. She's very fragile and he just doesn't want us to say anything that could make her flip out again. You didn't say anything, did you? What would I say? I don't know. Um, maybe like I had an abortion, or that Lucky's in rehab, or maybe that Dad's married to the step witch. I really love my daughter. I'd like her to have a couple of hours of peace before she finds out that we all went to hell in a handbasket while she was gone. She'll find out soon enough. She was here. And now she's not. You have a lot of nerve, Luke Spencer. Who were you supposed to be protecting when you didn't tell me that my child was back? Laura, Leslie, it's always Laura. You know that. Now, I'm sorry if you were hurt, but we can deal with that later. Right now, I've got to find my wife. I've got to find her and take her somewhere safe. She said she needed to be on her own to remember her life. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Okay, if she comes back, don't let her leave and be sure to call me. Stop right there. You don't leave until you tell us what else you're hiding from Laura. Hi, um, could you tell me if a nurse named Bobby Spencer still works here? Oh, uh, it's okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my, Laura. Hi. Oh my goodness. Let me look at you. You look absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I just can't believe you're here. I can't believe I was ever gone. How, how are you? How's Tony? Oh, God. Bobby, there you are. Tra Tracy, have you seen my worthless husband? 